What is up, so this is Jay here, and today I wanted to talk to you about five essential skills you will need to elevate your combat skills. And I need to say this because this is very important, but this game is all about your counters, so please learn your counters, and I will be doing more videos on that because a good defense makes a better offense. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna do is the perfect smash. This is gonna be your bread and butter because essentially this is gonna be your way to get past a good defense. Anyway, the perfect smash is holding X and releasing at the right time, perfect smash. So with the next one, this one is pretty simple. It rocks number 30 and he plays for Golden State Warriors, Stefan. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Step in, get it, Stefan, step, whatever. Jokes aside, step in is not a joke as this is one of the best moves you can add into your repertoire because of the main reason that you become invulnerable for a few frames. As you can see with the little tent right there, for example, you can do a step in sway, which also extends your invulnerability while also having the option to use it into a combo. Dragon homing automatically gets you behind the opponent, which means it's easier for you to get past their defense. Over here. As you can see. Careful though, you're going to want to mix this up because this can be countered by super counters. So that's why super counters are very vital and why I emphasize learning your counters. But for those who do not perfect the super counters, this is an easy hit every time, I promise you. This one may seem a little obvious, but it's really not grabs. If you can implement grabs into your gameplay, I promise you, you will get past the hardest of fighters. Because the main thing about this game is a lot of people are spamming blocks because they're trying to get the counter. So if you can implement this perfectly with someone who's spamming block, you can essentially guarantee a grab every single time. A quick pro tip, you can also step in grab, which is the safest way of grabbing because it grants you invulnerability frames unless they super counter you, which at that point you would need to revenge counter. So for this one, I'll just load it up any step in tutorial. The only difference is we're gonna ignore the Y and do the input for the grab. Now the, in the input for the grab is different. For standard controller, it is RBX. So RBX, okay? Remember that, RBX. So what we're gonna do is I want you to just get used to doing that first, RBX, but RBX. So now what you wanna do now is I want you to mess around with the step in. It's pretty simple, step in, step in. And now all you have to do, and it'll be seamless. Step in, grab. So that is a step in grab. I don't know why the game don't teach you that, but there you go, step in grabs. So I decided to show classic as well. Y'all's is pretty simple though. So what you're gonna do is step in again with just A. Step in, and just simply press A twice. And essentially, that's a guaranteed grab, again, unless they super counter you. Last but not least are your key blasts. Now key blasts is probably one of the most unexpected answers maybe. Some people might have expected the importance of these, especially the pros. But if you can implement this into some really good offense, but that's charged and then there's just your regular key blast. If you can really get your key blast going, you can always to get in there especially if they're not able to deflect it in time. There's just so much you can do with Key Blast. So to end the video off, I decided to show you me labbing all the stuff that I was showing y'all in the video today, just so y'all can see actual proof of it in battle on super difficulty. Now mind you, this is super difficulty. That's the hardest difficulty in the game. Now I wanted to show you that if you lab it, it is possible to become one of the greatest fighters. I'm not there yet, but I'm working hard to get there. And that is the gist of this channel now. I just want everybody to grow together because if we all get better, that means we will just continue to grow until, you know, we reach, we reach our limit and then we get a limit break. So with that being said, if this helps you, please comment, let me know. That really motivates me and just makes me happy because at the end of the day, let's just help each other. Why not grow together, you know? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. So with this is Jay out.